Hello my dear students, welcome to my Edga Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss some additional questions on the chapter Chemical Reactions and Equations. So let's move on to our first question. The question is, sodium hydroxide solution in water reacts with hydrochloric acid solution that is also in water to produce sodium chloride and water. Choose the appropriate chemical equation which provides all the given information. We are given four different options. We need to choose the correct chemical equation that describes the above statement. So in order to answer this question, I am inviting your attention to this slide. Here you can see sodium hydroxide that is NaOH. It is in water. In water means it is in the aqua state. You have already learned in your previous school video that in water means that is in the aqua state. And if it is a liquid, we can write it as L. If it is a solid, we can write it as S. And if it is in the gaseous state, we can write it as G. So NaOH in water means it is in the aqueous state. So I write aqueous in the right side. Plus hydrochloric acid, HCl. That is also in water. That means aqueous state. Gives sodium chloride. That is NaCl plus water that is H2. Here sodium chloride is produced in water. That means it is also in the aqueous state. Water being a liquid can be represented as L. So this is the correct representation of this chemical equation. So from our options I can choose option A as the right choice. Now let's go on to the second question. The question is in the reaction XPBNO3 twice solid gives YPBO solid plus EZNO2 gas plus O2 gas. Find the coefficients X, Y and Z. We have given four different options. They are 2, 1 and 4 respectively, 4, 2 and 2 respectively. 2, 2 and 4 respectively and 2, 2 and 1 respectively. We need to find what does this X, Y and Z stands for. We know that in order to balance a chemical equation, we need to multiply each reactant or product with some coefficients, isn't it? So the coefficients are given here as X, Y and Z. We need to check which of the given option suits the chemical reaction so that it become balanced. So in order to analyze that, we are going to choose the option elimination technique. Here it is given the first option as 2, 1 and 4 respectively. That is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 4. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to substitute 2, 1 and 4 for x, y and z and check whether the chemical reaction is balanced or not. That is 2 PbNO3 twice gives PbO solid plus 4NO2 plus O2. On checking we know that the number of lead atoms on the left hand side is 2. So Pb is 2 and on the right hand side the number of Pb atoms is equal to 1. So we can right away neglect this option. So our first option is wrong. Now selecting the second option 4, 2 and 2 that is x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2 and z is also equal to 2. Substituting 4 PbNO3 twice gives 2 PbO plus 2 NO2 plus O2. Here also we can see that the number of lead atoms on the left hand side is 4 but on the right hand side it is only 2. So we can neglect the second option also. In the third option it is 2, 2 and 4. Here I am substituting x is equal to 2, 
y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 4. On substituting 2 pb and no 3 twice gives 2 pbo plus 4 no 2 plus o2. Here we can see that the number of lead atoms on the left hand side is 2. On the right hand side also it is 2. The number of nitrogen atoms on the left hand side is 2 into 2 that is 4 and on the right hand side also it is 4. And the number of oxygen atoms on the left hand side is 3 into 2 6 into 2 12 and on the right hand side 4 into 2 plus 2 which is equal to 10. And we add these two oxygens also that will make it 12. That means the third option that is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 4 is the right option. So I am marking this C as the right option. Moving to the third question. The question is the balanced chemical equation representing photosynthesis is and the options are given below. We need to choose the right chemical equation that represents photosynthesis. You have already learned in your school video that the right chemical equation that represents photosynthesis is 6 CO2 in aqueous state added to 12 molecules of water in liquid state will produce glucose in aqueous state and 6 molecules of oxygen and 6 molecules of water in liquid state. So option D is the right choice. Moving towards our fourth question. The question is balance the following chemical equation and the equation provided is Na2CO3 plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. So this is the chemical equation we need to uh, balance it. We have already learned in our school video how to balance a chemical equation. It involves seven steps, isn't it? Yes. So the first step is to place all the molecules in different boxes that I have done here. Next is to find the molecule having highest number of atoms. In this equation, Na2CO3 is the molecule having the highest number of atoms, in which oxygen has the highest number of atoms, which is 3 on the left hand side. So oxygen has 3 atoms on the left hand side, and on the right hand side also, 1 plus 2, that is 3 oxygen atoms on the right hand side as well. So oxygen is pretty balanced. Moving towards Sodium, sodium has two atoms on the left hand side as you can see here. So two on the left hand side but on the right hand side we have only one sodium. So the number of sodium atoms on either side is not equal. So we need to balance it. So in order to balance the number of sodium atoms on either side I am going to multiply the right hand side of NaCl by the coefficient 2. As you can see here, I have multiplied the right hand side NaCl by the coefficient 2. Now, the number of atoms of sodium on left hand side and right hand side becomes equal, that is 2 on both sides. But there is a slight problem arises here. The problem is that the number of chlorine atoms also becomes 2 in, on the right hand side. But it is only one on the left hand side. So chlorine has become unequal. In order to balance the number of chlorine, what I am going to do is I am going to multiply the left hand side that is HCl with the same coefficient 2 as you can see here. I have multiplied the left hand side of HCl with a coefficient 2. Now the number of chlorine atoms on the left hand side is 2 and on the right hand side also it is 2. Sodium is already balanced and oxygen is also balanced. We have discussed it earlier. Now the remaining two elements which are carbon and hydrogen. Moving towards carbon, the number of carbon atoms on the left hand side is 1. So it is true and on the right hand side also we can see 1 carbon. So carbon is also balanced. So the final one is Hydrogen. Hydrogen has two atoms on the left hand side as well as two on the right hand side. So hydrogen is also balanced. So 
all the elements are balanced on either side, now the equation becomes complete. That is, Na2CO3 plus 2HCl gives 2NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. This is the balanced chemical equation. Now let us go for our fifth question. The question is, balance the following chemical equation. We have got another equation to get balanced and the equation is SiCl4 plus H2O giving H4SiO4 plus HCl. So this is the chemical equation. In order to balance it, what we have to do is to place each molecule in different boxes that I have done here. Next step is to find the molecule having the highest number of atoms. So in this case, it is H4SiO4 and the element having the highest number of atoms is oxygen. So checking oxygen on the right hand side, it has got four atoms on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, it has got only one atom. So the number of oxygen atoms on either side is not balanced. In order to balance the number of oxygen atoms on either side, what I am going to do is, I am going to multiply the H2O molecule with a coefficient 4. As you can see here, I have multiplied the LHS, left hand side of uh, H2O molecule with a coefficient 4. Now, the number of oxygen atoms becomes 4 into 1. That is 4 on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side. That is, oxygen becomes equal, that is balanced. Moving forward for hydrogen, here hydrogen has got 4 plus 1, 5 atoms on the right hand side. But it has got 4 into 2, that is 8 atoms on the left hand side. Next is hydrogen, we need to balance the number of hydrogen because it is not balanced. In order to balance the number of hydrogen atoms on the right hand side, to make it 8 there, what I am going to do is, I am going to multiply the HCl molecule with a coefficient 4, as you can see here. Now, the number of hydrogen atoms on right hand side becomes 4 plus 4 into 1, 4 will give 8 on the right hand side and 4 into 2 becomes 8 on the left hand side as well. Oxygen is balanced already. Now, we have got two other elements to check. The first one is silicon. The number of silicon atoms on the left hand side is 1 and on the right hand side also it has got 1 atom. So silicon is balanced and the final element is chlorine. Chlorine has got 4 atoms on the left hand side and 4 into 1 that is 4 atoms on the right hand side as well. So all elements are balanced. Now, the balanced chemical equation is SiCl4 plus 4 molecules of H2O gives H4SiO4 plus 4 molecules of HCl. In this session, we have discussed how to balance a chemical equation and also some other questions from the chapter Chemical Reactions and Equations. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.